I just ride my bike and sit on the sofa and watch BBC iPlayer. Good plug there, wasn't it? Chris Mallin, I guess now. It's two words, but it's yellow jumper, so. I've got a pet dog, it's a little cavapoo called Blanche. Oh, I'd ask her why she's such a diva and just eat the food, like, what's your problem? My first kiss, uh, well, I was a girl in school, I guess. We, at first we were supposed to meet after school and it was all nervous, but uh, yeah, a few weeks later I think it happened. I can't even remember her name. Maybe don't put that, don't put that out. <laughs> Braveheart. I don't know. I just really get into that and uh, yeah, end up having a little tear in my eye at the end. Oh, Wales win the Rugby World Cup. And I went out with my father-in-law and George North actually um, a month or so ago and it's hard work riding that slow sometimes. But yeah, I'm taking a lot of credit from his try he just scored against Scotland because there's some power in those legs and that's pretty much from that bike ride I think. We were walking past a restaurant once and um, what's his name now? That Nespresso advert guy, you know in Ocean's 11 and 12? George Clooney, yeah. Saw him. I more get starstruck with sports people than sort of actors really. Uh, I met Messi and Suarez in an uh, in underground car park in, in the New Camp, which was sort of, which was crazy. He gave me a jersey as well that he'd actually worn that day. It was against PSV and he scored a hat-trick, so it was quite a nice top to have. The only person I think of like immediately is Mr. Bean. I, I just don't know why, but maybe George Clooney, seeing I've just mentioned him, yeah. For Eminem would be one. That would be interesting. I think Thierry Henry. Maybe I'm um, a comedian, just to lighten the mood sometimes. So, uh, Jimmy Carr. Love Jimmy Carr. And the last one, maybe Henry VIII. Sound like he'd have a few stories, wouldn't he? 